to analytics tools and ML question examples based on AWS data engineer topics by Abilid. The following questions are based on the first regular exam in March 2024 with 65 questions. Question 1. How do you cost optimize the Athena on demand SQL queries for BI with hourly updates with least overhead? Infeasible for on demand queries is to store in deep archive with 12 hour retrieval. And operational overhead is required for performance measure with elastic cache or file compressions. Better is to reduce redundant scans and costs with Athena's query result reuse for hourly data changes. Question 2. How do you analyze an Athena select query for runtime statistics and output rows? Don't forget to specify the accordingly select query, and to scan runtime for further details you need to combine the explain statement with the analyze statement. Athena's explain statement provides a select query plan and its analyze runtime scans provides table rows. Question 3. How do you SQL query with least overhead, the JSON and CSV format stored in S3, RDS, and DynamoDB? To query RDS or DynamoDB you can't engage Redshift Spectrum and tailor-made glue jobs require substantial overhead. Not better is lake formation as it doesn't provide processing jobs. Most advisable is to apply Athena's direct and unified S3 queries across multiple data stores and formats with PartyQL. Question 4. How do you realize SQL queries with Spark ETL tasks and Athena create table AS select statement? For the combination of Spark with Athena, you don't need to change query settings with the query editor or to change Athena data sources. For the Spark usage with Athena, you must first create a Spark enabled workgroup and then continue with the Athena notebook editor. Hold on a minute. If you like this channel and its free content to continue, please subscribe it on the right bottom button. Question 5. How do you improve performance of growing S3 storage with CSV metrics and date partitioning for Athena query? Don't employ string partitions to improve scaling for growth. Besides, neither additional Athena transformation for JSON nor account separation improves performance. You better use Parquet or ORC columnar formats with predicate pushdown to fetch only needed blocks to improve Athena query performance. Question 6. How do you reduce most costs of collected lake sensor metrics with Kinesis Data Firehose and Athena query? Less performing are formats like the row-based Apache Avro or the columnar ORC and Parquet without compression. For this case, partitioning without differentiation on sensors isn't efficient. Instead engage Athena and S3 in the same region with compressed columnar formats to optimize query performance and storage. Question 7. How do you resolve insufficient permission error of QuickSight with Athena queries of S3 data? QuickSight's auto-connection to Athena can't be a permission issue. Moreover, Catalog's metadata or an IAM policy setup in QuickSight isn't required for its access. To resolve the error, you must enable each new S3 bucket on the QuickSight console and grant access to AWS KMS key in your QuickSight service role. Question 8. How do you resolve access denied error of SageMaker Studio using Glue for machine learning models? To pass SageMaker Studio role for its actions you can't use Glue's role or SageMaker full access policy. Also you can't use STS role action as in policy allowance. The solution is to pass the SageMaker role to Glue or other services with the STS role in the attached trust policy to IAM. With the understanding of analytics tools and ML for data engineers, you are ready for more details. We wish you further insights with Abilene videos.